What advice would you have for up and coming actors and actresses that would like to get into the field that you're in? You give it. Okay. Well, I mean, you have to you have to study. You have to you know, and and do as much regional theater as you can. I mean, I started in high school and then I went to New York, and then you just have to do that. And if you have a southern accent, unfortunately, you got to get rid of it while you're working. But of course, the minute I come back home, it comes right back. Yes. Yes. Where are you from? Can you, you, sir? We're Kansas. Kansas. Thank you. Maryland. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. So we're shooting an episode. How long does one episode take to shoot? Well, gee, we do so many it, uh, yeah, It's changed over the years, but now now uh, we do about eight episodes a week. So it's difficult to tell you. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. So who inspired you to start a movie? was a dancing teacher and um, my mom and her put blue taps on my baby shoes that's kind of how it all started and my mom wanted to be she was a frustrated dancer I guess so that's how I started as a dancer and then I studied started studying acting and getting rid of the southern accent and, and I guess the biggest influence when I was in New York was Catherine Hepburn I did a musical with her and her worth at the you know she said you got to get rid of that southern accent she could hear a little little bit in there and so she was I just watched her a lot on stage um, but it, it's just everybody that I ever worked with I tried to get something from it's it's just learning you're a sponge and you just keep absorbing you just you, ne you never stop when you stop you might as well say bye bye well I hate to say this but uh, my inspiration was actually being able to to work with beautiful women like these. That was, that was it. That's how I began. So uh, a good friend of mine literally told me that. And uh, uh, so I began in college because he said it was the best place to meet girls. Was at the end. That was it. Isn't that nice? Hot and your inspiration, ma'am? I used to watch um, old movies, musicals with my grandfather. And I, I just really loved performing. So if it wasn't gymnastics or baton twirling or anything that got me the spotlight and eventually I learned to study studied acting in high school and college and, um, but it's really just something that sort of uh, pulled me in in the beginning ham a true ham I happened to have been a fan when I was in high school so you can imagine what it was like for me to be able to suddenly get hired on Days of Our Lives in 1976 walk into the studio and see people that I absolutely idolized and suddenly was writing their stories and then eventually became their friends. And it's been a long, long time that we haven't seen each other for a while, so this has been absolutely fantastic. I'm now writing a series of novels about the books. So I'm visiting Salem again, and I'm visiting all these people that I haven't seen for such a long time, and it's just a joy. So watch the show, buy the books. <laughs> Much more success. I hope the show runs 50 more years. 150 more years, you know. You look wonderful. Thank you for your time, okay? My name's TW. 